Atticus Schaefer, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm doing very good. Well, congratulations. Uh, the middle six seasons, man. I mean, what's that like? Because you started on that show when you were, what, 10? Yes, I was 10 for the for this pilot. What's it like growing up on a TV show? Well, that's, that's actually a, a, a good point, is the cool part about growing up on the show is obviously it's different, obviously it's something unique, but the cool part about it is because I did start when I was so young, and it, it's still been going as I'm getting older, it's almost like it's a whole movie watching me grow up, but but obviously it's, it's, a, it's playing a character and being on screen, but still, my mom and I, we go back now and we watch the older episodes, like from season one, two, and three, and it's like, oh my God, your voice was so high and your face was so round, and you were so tiny. And it's cool because it's like these are all the memories I have of, of my childhood and, and, and growing up with the show and being able to kind of form this family away from family with the crew and whatever. And it's, it's been a blast. It's been, it's been a, it's a lot of hard work, but it, it pays off. What is your best behind-the-scenes story that you can give us? Ooh, let's see. There's so many. Um, I think the best behind-the-scenes story because it's one of the few things that we've not gotten on camera there was an episode where we were all shooting in a Red Lobster restaurant, and um, we were sitting at the table, and there's this girl who plays a waitress, and she brings us, like, the beverages and everything like that and walks away in the scene. And in the scene, a soldier is returning from duty, and the whole restaurant starts shouting, USA, USA, USA. Well, behind, the, behind camera, when we cut, uh, they were trying to reset the waitress with these glasses of water on this tray. And obviously this girl plays the waitress. She's not actually a waitress. Right. So something happens, and um, the, uh, she, she drops the water, and it goes all over our table. And, like, I mean, every glass is just emptied. We all kind of sit back, and the prop guy is there. And instead of the prop guy getting mad and, and you, know, you know, kind of having an attitude about it, he's just like, Woo! USA! 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 And the whole restaurant starts shouting, USA! 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 <laughs> and it was probably the most patriotic and hilarious moment we've had on that set. <laughs> That's awesome. And in your six years uh, of doing the show, I mean, who's been your favorite guest to work with? Oh, that's hard. I re- see, I really love working with, like, obviously the big names. So Betty White and Marion Ross, because they have so much personality and they have so many stories and they just thrive in what they do and what they love to do and it's amazing to see them and be able to talk to them on on set but one of my other favorites has got to be when we worked with rick harrison from pawn stars i'm a huge fan of pawn stars and he's so into like the history stuff and i'm a huge history nerd too so being able to be there and like in between takes just talk about military stuff and 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 history stuff and, and stuff that he has in the pawn shop and everything like that was so cool for me. Now, staying on your uh, your fixation with military history, you're also a, a bit of a zombie fan, yeah? Yes, definitely. Huge zombie nerd. So now, combining your love for zombies and your knowledge of military history, how would Atticus Schaefer fare in a zombie apocalypse? Ooh, let's see here. Well, the fact, too, that I am a, a prepper, um, which means I do prepare for, like, emergency situations and whatever, like stuff like an earthquake or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it, it's one of those things where it's like, you know what? Zombie apocalypse happens. I'm ready. Bring it on. I got my friends involved, too. Apparently, when I'm a prepper, I, I'm like a carrier. People start prepping around me. And so it's one of those things where it's like, you know what? Get my friends together. We, we do pretty good in the zombie apocalypse. We could be the next Walking Dead. The show. <laughs> so when it all goes down, find where Atticus Schaefer lives, because that's going to be the safe haven. Well, I don't want to necessarily say that, uh, <laughs> but it's a safe haven for my friends. <laughs> fair enough. So, fair enough. Well, cool, man. Well, again, congratulations. Six seasons on the middle. And Atticus Schaefer, thank you so much for calling in today, brother. Thank you. All right, have a great day. You as well.